what is the perfect souffle for you? For me, I want that smooth top, no cracks, and at least two centimeter tall. I was watching Masterclass Australia last week and they showed one of the best looking chocolate souffle that I've ever seen without using flour. Yeah, I know, I got so excited and tried making it at home using, of course, the tips and tricks that I learned from the show. Starting with the ramekins, we're going to butter this nine centimeter ramekin. Believe it or not, the upward strokes will help the souffle to puff up. Then you're going to put a tablespoon of sugar, rotate it until the whole thing is well coated. Just take your time, don't rush. Top the excess and set aside. Your ramekin should look like this. This is very important step. So let me show it one more time because if we mess this up, our souffle is done. Hopefully not. I hope not. Okay, the next step is we're going to melt 100 grams of chocolate over a hot water. Not steaming, not boiling, just hot. I recommend using at least 64 to 70% dark. It's also good to finely chop your baking chocolate so it's easier to melt. And at this point, you can add three egg yolks, stir it gently. I know it's going, going to harden, but no biggie. Just keep mixing, it'll be fine. For the meringue, I love using a stand mixer. Pour in three egg whites, start the mixer, then add a little bit of sugar to just get that going. You're looking for bubbles and the color should be white. Then add more sugar, then wait for a few seconds, then add the rest of the sugar. Try using setting five all the way, it works for me. Scrape the bottom of the bowl to make sure all the sugar is dissolved. I know making meringue can be intimidating, but the more you do it, the more you get used to the proper texture and the color, and the next time just gets easier and easier. By the way, this is what we want, soft peak. Grab your chocolate mixture and add one third of the meringue. Give it a good whisk. It's not going to ruin the souffle, I promise. Keep whisking until it becomes like this. Add the rest of the meringue. This time you're going to gently fold until well combined. Gently scrape from the bottom, then fold. This also gives the souffle the puff we want. Keep folding until it looks like this okay this part here i've tried using a big spoon but i got some drip on the ramekin and that's a big no-no chef gary also said that from master chef because it will not it will destroy the puff appearance it will be flat or lopsided so using a ladle like this so it is highly recommended and please do it slowly. I cannot emphasize it more, but once a chocolate mixture accidentally gets on the ramekin, you'll be tempted to wipe and that's game over for the souffle. To get that beautiful, flawless, crackless top, you can even eat out with the back of the spoon. Clean around the ramekin to make sure, yep, you guessed it, so it can puff up. It's all about the puff, you know. By the way, did you know that souffle means puffed up? All about the puff. Bake on a preheated oven 400 Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for eight to 10 minutes. Oh, and look at that, it's so cool. I swear, I watched the whole thing. You would too, it's just so fun. All the hard work paying off and voila, looks so good. You have to serve this right away. Soufflés deflate a little bit after baking, so serve it warm. Show it off, show it off right away. You can serve it with ice, I, bleh, I can't even talk. You can serve it with ice cream on the side or whatever you like. The top just came out so perfect that I don't even bother using powdered sugar. I mean, why cover it, right? So, but it's up to you. I also like mine with uh, white. That's, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Anyway, I also like mine with meringue ice cream. Oh, and oh my gosh, so yummy. I hope you can try it soon. See you next time and thanks for watching. Bye.